morning. It's uh, Sunday for me, Wednesday for you guys. The sun's just coming up. It is Mother's Day. It, the clocks went forward last night, so I don't know about the rest of you, but I feel for the next few days we'll be going. It's actually 20 past six right now. It's actually 20 past six, not 20 past seven. Um, that was a bit of a... Had a, had a tricky moment getting up this morning. I was not feeling in the mood for getting up early, but I am going to take Sienna for a hack today. I was going to say I wanted to get up early to miss all the traffic, but currently the road actually sounds quite busy. <laughs> I've just heard like four cars going past, so um, that's fine. It's fine. I just, I just didn't want it to be too busy. Everyone's very itchy at the moment. Um, I just didn't want it to be too busy. And you know what Sundays are like? There's like loads of cyclists around, loads of people in their gardens, still a ton of traffic. There's a lot of tractors out again at the moment. So I just thought, let's get up early. Hopefully they won't be up early either. Um, I mean, I'm still getting on at eight, which is not that early, but I'm not sure I could. That's a, no, no, Sienna. Anyway, I need to get on and feed them um, and feed the dog and the cat and sort out my tack because I've got to switch it all up now that I'm take, like riding Sienna. And yeah, get on with it and I'll uh, let you know how I get on. Oh, a little bit apprehensive, just, just a teeny weeny bit, but it'll be fine. It'll be fine, we'll be all good. Oh, Artie, you've still got food. Impressive. survived our first hack i had a slightly um wobbly start because she was a little bit she was just fretting because coop was getting tacked up and um she didn't do anything awful but she was just on her toes and then had some issues trying to get on her which is someone like her because she normally stands like an absolute rock so that was making me a little bit apprehensive i was like this is not how i want it to start um but actually she was fine so we did manage to get on and yeah, it, it was it was fine. She was surprising a lot more tired than I was expecting. Normally out hacking on a leader, she's all right, but she was definitely, um, I guess my great extra weight made her a lot tired. So um, we didn't go for very long. We sort of went for about 30 minutes. Um, and we did meet some cars and not masses. We met some dog walkers, which I knew she'd be fine about because she's a very people person. Um, but yeah, as if I corporal on the other hand was an absolute monkey and was charging along the road and Sienna cannot keep up with Coop at the best of times, Lena and Coop's on a mission. So um, my dad was having great fun trying to get Corporal to listen. And yeah, Corporal came out with some attitude today. Not being particularly helpful to Sienna, but anyway. Now to get on with mucking out. Tidy up my yard. Arts is busy eating because he thought I starved him. He's actually going for a hack with Billy. So um, they're going to stay in for a bit and then I'll tack him up and head on down. Interestingly, um, I, I don't know what video I was watching or someone else talking about salt licks and putting salt in their feed and they were saying that maybe it's better to... Hey Sienna! Um, oh hello! To just give them a lick rather than putting salt in their feed and then they can have as much salt as they feel like they need rather than kind of dictating how much they have. Because interestingly, neither of the boys will use the salt lick. I've never been interested in it. Artie might do an occasional lick, but that's about it. Cork will never. But Sienna is obsessed with it. So I don't know whether it's because she's a mare or whether because she's young. and um, I don't know, but she she could stand it all day long looking at it so um i leave it on the fence tied up out here so whenever they're stood out here to be mucked out or groomed or whatever they've got the option but she will always lick it and actually it's quite nice when you're mucking out it gives her something to do she tends to be nice and quiet at that point i mean look at her she's nearly half asleep but she absolutely loves it last time i had a sort of brick white brick this time i didn't have it so i've had to go for this like himalayan one but um yeah she absolutely adores it so obviously needing lots of salt in her life at the moment but uh yeah big step today going for a hack now i just gotta keep doing it <laughs> not looking your most attractive there she's got surprisingly big ears <laughs> right let's get on with the fun stuff not so since i rode sienna an hour ago excuse us his mane i didn't brush it um the mist has come in which is uh yeah we need some sun. It's actually quite chilly. Anyway, off to go and meet Billy. 
um, Arts is feeling good. Funny enough, I've actually put him in a snaffle today because I couldn't be bothered to change my bridles around. And he's a lot better than the gag that I had him in. So who knows what's going on there? I wanted to add this kind of slightly random bit of footage in and this was from a few days ago with work and it was just one of those most beautiful kind of early evening rides we were out in the fields we went for a gallop which is something I don't do that often nowadays and it was just wonderful so I wanted to capture the moment Stone, that's it. So I put this bander there for a bit so it's good for her legs. 